So I bought another graphics card today. The market is fairly dry, like when you see the biggest retailers at the moment in Norway and Scandinavian search are like sold out of everything. And I saw that this popped it up into the market today. I have not really researched it much, but we're around 30 pieces and they got sold out uh, after some hours and I grabbed one of them and it's the XFX Merc 319 edition uh, an AMD Radeon RX 6800 card it's not a reference card I've not owned any XFX products before uh, and I've not been like a huge fan of their design even though some people really like it but we can see this is the 6800 version not sh too sure how this will perform uh, i will mainly use it for some light gaming and also doing some mining on the side when i'm not using the card so it will be interesting to see the mining performance i'm not sure that these cars are actually too much better than the 5700 xts so we have some uh, features here you can maybe read into you see the design of the card so inside this paper box here we have another box No drivers included, so it's a fairly big card. This, as we can see with my hand and everything there, so hoping that it will fit into my case. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I've not even looked into the length of this, so but I guess it will work. Uh, it's plastic around this whole thing here and yeah that is probably it so there wasn't any anti-static bag and the plastic bag that it comes it comes in is actually sealed off and to get it off you like to have to cut the sides of it because it's fairly small and we have some peeling action here I have some flow through cooling here as well very beefy card i think this will light up here i'm not sure if this is a, like a addressable light do you have uh, two eight pins connectors just glow up with power by switch performance and silent mode And we have the underside here with the fans. Would expect this to be like 90 millimeter, 90 to 100 millimeter fans. Yeah, probably 90 or 100. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I guess this is metal too. It's like wrapping around, as we can see, which some talk as a big feature, or yeah. Or as a nice design but I'm not too sure about it I like less I think it looks a little bit like plasticky but we will see how it looks in the case itself so here we have my fractal define C case yeah it's by no means a huge case but in my opinion it should fit uh, most cards uh, as you can see, it's pretty beefy this way, wide, much wider than like my 1070 that I'm using at the moment. And I look at the length as well. So this case here with this setup with the AO there, it will fit like most 3090s, I believe, and 3080s, but a Rio done 6800 
Merc series it won't fit. I have no reason why they need to make it this large. So yeah, I think I will be selling this fairly soon if it's possible. Because I don't want to change the case to use this not super high performance that could like wave in for all of the extra cooling and mass. Yeah, no understanding for why they've done it this way. So currently the shaders are installing in the multiplayer in Call of Duty Warzone, which is the main FPS shooter that I play. And we got the card into the machine and I ended up removing the AO cooler and, and put in um, a air cooler that I had laying around up in my apartment. I have a few more coolers, but they are in my like storage locker in the garage. Uh, yeah, and uh, this have like this simple buckle on thing. So yeah, why not use that one? It takes like a few minutes to change over that. But as we can see, the AEO wouldn't fit. We have even the fans on the outside, like on the case here to get this card in. So it's a little bit too big. So uh, yeah, so we'll see what I will do with the future, but we will, we can see that we have some fairly nice lights there. And it's not that, that I don't like the look of the, and build here with this cooler it is TDP rated for 125 watts so it's well within the specs of the 3600 XT but when you like have invested your money a little bit into a AO cooler it would have been nice to be able to use that as well uh, to maybe get more quiet build or something like that and uh, also have a little bit more of a margin when it comes to the cooling. So I have two 140mm fans in the front, a 120mm in the rear and now also two exhausts on the top, 140mm. And we will see what the temperatures on this card will go up to when mining for example because then it's like always running at a uh, maximum which is really testing the cooling performance of this card so here we have nice hash um, i'm not found any good like mining settings for this car but i'm running at around 63 mil hashes I've set it to just overclock VRAM in the Riadon 2 Uner and it gives me a little bit better mining performance. As we can see now it's been running for a few minutes now. Utilization is like 100% all the time now. And clock speed, high power consumption we see here, 178 watts. Current temperature 70 and the junction temperature seems to be stable around here. And here we have the fan speed, uh, which is fairly low, I would say. So it's a very quiet card. Uh, uh, the card itself is just very quiet. The only thing I can hear in my piece is like the fans, uh, case fans spinning up, which I could tune to like make it quieter. But yeah, why not have enough airflow and yeah, it's just setting it to overclock VRAM and this is like merge salts in the mining. And the CPU is not mining at the moment, so uh, it's not generating any heat there. Team Deathmatch. Enemy incoming. Weapons ready.
Lost the lead. Loading. Enemy at the shanty town. Enemy UAV overhead. Read mark, call for reloading. This is building to the zero three cost of the structure track away. Dropping system deployed. Allied cluster. Ma perché quel Get yourselves a proper warm-up. We'll be deploying soon. Now we do this for real. Gas is closing in. Proceed to the safe zone. Objective is to kill them all. Does anyone want this?
So I'm playing at a fairly widescreen monitor, 34 inches, which is like 30% more pixels than 1440p, so the performance is worse than 1440p, but yeah, I would say it runs smooth in most games. Uh, and in Warzone, I will like set it up to be over 100 hertz, which is the frequency of the screen here. Uh, but we are seeing around 130 frames on fairly high settings on 30% higher performance than uh, 1440p resolution. But I think a lot of it is limited to the CPU as well, maybe. Um, but Warzone is, yeah, I would say a little bit demanding. And when we put it into just one regular online maps uh, we get much higher frame rates which yeah those are more maybe uh, limited by the CPU and playing flight simulator on the same resolution uh, it's perfectly playable uh, flight simulator is a dem very demanding game just uh, have a look at all of the like scenery that I've showed you it just looks wonderful, uh, but it's running smoothly. Uh, you are not like getting a lot of frames, but it's perfectly fine flying around and it feels smooth. Only in New York, your performance is uh, not as good and uh, it's really limited by your main thread in the processor. Uh, the GPU is working its ass off, but uh, I would think that mostly the frame rates in my case and in most people's builds are limited by the CPUs at this point because it's like using one or through two threads I believe. Uh, so I really hope for a multi-core update of this game and it will probably get much smoother FPS because when looking in the dev mode in Flight Simulator, it's always uh, almost uh, limited by the main thread. Uh, I didn't think I remembered to put it into like stock overclock mode, but yeah, uh, it's running fine either way. And I have a really small air cooler because the graphic card is so large I couldn't fit my AO. But hope you enjoyed this video.